All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode four of learning Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone. Let's just get straight into this episode. So today we'll be learning about monostable circuits and piston spitters. Now, piston spitters, like I'm calling it that, just because I don't necessarily have enough room on the side. Uh, but how to make a piston spit out its block is what I mean by piston spitter. If you're confused about that, now we're going to be starting this off with monostable circuits. So, monostable circuits basically send a very quick pulse out of a button or a lever. So as you see, if I push this button, it'll send a super quick pulse to that lamp. And you see, bam, super quick pulse. So over here, I have a demonstration of comparing either the normal length of a button to a monostable circuit. Left side is monostable circuit, right side is the button. So you push the button, as you see, monostable circuit is so much faster than a normal button is. If we go back to the beginning where I have like this demonstration to kind of further explain why we need to use this in redstone builds. So let's say I'm building a three by three piston door and I need the bottom double piston extender to like obviously make the full three by three piston door. So let's say that so we're using a lever to open it, right? And we have this one go off first. That that won't help because if it's a lever, this will just continuously be on and be staying on. And then we, this this piston won't be able to activate if this piston's on first. This one will have to retract back, and then this one can. So that's why we need the monostable circuits, because especially if we're using levers and stuff. So then we can have that quick, rapid thing. And then even if you're using a button, the monostable circuit will make the, like the pulse go much faster, making the opening and closing sequence faster. So there are two different types of monostable circuits. We have a rising edge monostable circuit, as you can see on the rising of the piston, on like the, the power, the rising part of it, it gives off a tick or a pulse, I should say. And then we have falling edge. As you see on the rising edge, there's no pulse lit out. From the falling edge, like on the release of the pulse and like, you know what I'm talking about, um, lets off a pulse. So right now this is on, but the torch inverts the pulse or the the redstone power, it inverts the power, so technically this is on right now, and this is the falling edge that will let the power. I do suggest that you don't build this one and you stick to the observer and uh, th this one over here with just a piston. It's just so much simpler and easy, more compact, uh, less materials, but this is just another one I found to try and demonstrate. Now for mild stable circuits for the rising edge and falling edge, you can obviously use it with a lever or a button. Lever, obviously, or a button. This has to be the one most common used for levers, and this has to be the one most common used for buttons. It really just depends um, on what you're building, if you need rising edge or falling edge, but yeah. Now we're on to piston spitters, block spitters, piston spitting the block, whatever the heck you want to call this. Uh, just like how a piston will spit its block out and then retract it back in. We are on to this now. Now the reason I grouped this up with model stable circuits is because on Java Edition, these are actually, that's how you make your block spitter or piston spitter i always say block spitter that's not what it's called i've gotten into a bad habit of calling it that don't don't call it that but as you can see on bedrock edition it will just it won't spit it out for whatever it just it just won't spit it out like i, I don't know why but on java edition that's actually how like a block spitter would work if we're on java edition that block would have got spat out so that's why on bedrock edition we have a special thing to do a block spitter type motion thing for, for bedrock edition since we can't use a monostable circuit as one so how this works is this piston pushes this observer back and forth onto these pistons and the only way to really get this block to be pushed out is if this piston activates pushing this piston and this block forward so then when this piston gets activated it then activates this piston pulling this back the exact same thing vertical as, as you can see like so exact same thing now let's just get straight on to the tutorial. First up, we have the rising edge model stable circuit. You'll need three solid blocks, one repeater, one redstone dust, one sticky piston. You'll need whatever you're going to power this with. And then you'll need whatever you're going to connect this up to. And I'm using a redstone lamp. First, you're going to have a block, redstone dust on it. Then you're going to have a piston with a block on top. Oops, like so. Block out, repeater, then going into whatever you're powering. I'm going to have my lamp gonna have my power on the front boom monostable circuit next we have the observer falling edge monostable circuit we we'll need two solid blocks one observer one sticky piston one redstone repeater one redstone dust one lever or button and then your redstone lamp or whatever you're connecting this up to 
Also, this is the exact same thing as this one that we just made, just a tiny bit different to have the observer on top of the piston instead of the, the block. And I didn't explain any of this. So you have a block and then piston facing up. Red sun dust on that block, observer facing out, so the red dot is this way. Then have a block with the observer facing into a repeater, then going into your source. Then get your lever button, whatever you have on the front, and see on the falling edge, it will then do your model staple circuit power. Quick power, yes. And you know what? I was going to do a tutorial on this, but I, I just don't feel the need to. Um, it, it was just something as another example, and you really shouldn't use this. It's the exact same thing as this. This is just so extra. It is so much extra, and I, I don't even see a purpose. I, I don't, like, if you want to, I'll just, like... Here, here you go, just mimic this, but it's like, it's just so extra and I don't feel need to. So anyways, now we're on the block spitter, vertical, and sideways, yeah, horizontal I should say. It's gonna build these like all at once since you're just gonna need the same amount of materials. You'll need two blocks, two solid blocks I should say, three sticky pistons, one observer, and one lever. So for horizontal, you're gonna have your block with two pistons facing into it. Then you're gonna place another temporary block with an observer facing into the bottom one. An observer facing in like so and then your lever or what am i saying observer sorry piston facing in to that observer like so lever on it and then you have it boom bada bing bada boom now let's just do the vertical version of it you're gonna have a block sticky piston facing up observer facing in two sticky pistons a block and then a lever on this bottom piston bada bing bada boom I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe, and do as always with post notes. Spin me as I say. See you next one. Goodbye.